Climate change is threatening the health of the Great Lakes and the people, plants, and animals who rely on them. Spanning two nations and many indigenous communities, the Great Lakes Basin contains almost one-fifth of the world's fresh surface water and is home to 3,500 species of plants and animals. It provides drinking water to 40 million people, supports numerous industries, and provides important cultural and spiritual connections. Climate change poses threats to these important services and is impacting communities across the region, from warmer air temperatures and more extreme heat to more variable and intense storms. Climate change is also a threat multiplier, compounding the impacts of existing stressors such as pollution, invasive species, and coastal development. Lake ice on the Great Lakes has been declining rapidly since the 1970s. On average, maximum ice cover has been decreasing by 5% per decade, and some lakes are losing ice cover faster than others. In coastal areas, lake ice helps protect shorelines by reducing wave action. It is also important for communities that rely on ice roads and for winter recreation. Surface water temperatures are increasing across the Great Lakes. In the upper Great Lakes, especially Lake Superior, summer water temperatures are warming even faster than regional air temperatures. Warmer water temperatures inhibit the mixing of lake waters, increase oxygen depletion, promote the growth of harmful algal blooms, and lead to the decline of cold water species. Since the 1990s, water levels across the Great Lakes have had more frequent extreme highs and extreme lows. This variability is expected to continue to increase in the future, setting new high and low water level records. Low water levels lead to unsafe conditions for shipping and navigation, the shrinking of streams and wetlands, and less hydropower, while high water levels increase flooding and erosion, which cause damage to coastal properties and infrastructure and add sediment and contaminants into the lakes. Climate change also affects plants and animals across the Great Lakes Basin. Changing seasonal patterns can affect breeding, spawning, and other behaviors. Habitat ranges will likely continue to expand for some species as warming continues, while ranges shrink or shift northwards for others. Coastal wetlands, which provide essential habitat for a large variety of plants and animals, are particularly vulnerable to changing climate conditions and water levels. If climate change continues at its current pace, the Great Lakes will be very different by the time our children and grandchildren grow up. To preserve this invaluable gift of nature, coordination is essential. In 2012, Canada and the United States added a focus on climate change to the renewed Binational Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement. Since then, we have been working together and with our partners to identify, understand, and predict climate change impacts on Great Lake water quality. We have a range of resources, from climate summaries to research reports, to aid those involved in Great Lakes protection to proactively address the impacts of climate change. For more information, visit binational.net.